Okay, we're going to create a bling effect using only layer styles. And we're going to use the layer styles in many different ways. Um, this first way is relatively simple and hopefully we'll accomplish a solid gold looking boom box here in just a couple of steps. I'm going to go to image, adjustments, desaturate, that gets rid of all the color. And now we're going to apply a layer style color overlay and we're going to choose what color we want to overlay with so I'm going to choose a gold ish color and then I'm going to set this to color burn and I'll leave the opacity at a hundred percent for now and it already is starting to look <coughs> pretty good but I think if we adjust the levels, um, it'll be a little more successful. And I'm just playing with the levels here to try and get something that I feel will look like solid gold. And that's actually pretty good um, for what I'm looking for for now. So we'll complete that and now we have a solid gold boombox and uh, for my design I'm gonna do the exact same process uh, to some cars and put it into a composition. Okay now what I've done is I've applied the exact same bling effect using layer styles to this wicked 90 sports car as well as my car that's in the middle here and then I flipped the image of my boombox and my sports car to give myself a symmetrical design then when I add a black background it's really starting to look like solid gold um, I want to continue my design by using a crest from the Go Media Arsenal Set 1 uh, crest I'm going to choose this guy and incorporate him into my composition so when I've placed him in there, now the challenge is to use layer styles uh, to make this crest look like solid gold. So we will attempt to do that. Alright, so now the challenge is to make this crest look like it is solid gold. Um, and a good place to start on something like that would be to add a gradient to it. So in our layer styles, let's add a gradient overlay and I have set up a gradient here that would um, emulate gold so I've got some dark browns, some whites and some yellows, um, some things like that to give it some contrast and uh, kind of fake some reflections there so you want to set up a gradient uh, very similar and then there's different styles um, that you can choose and you might want to choose a different effect um, depending on the shape of your crest or uh, logo or whatever else you're trying to bling out. Um, in this case I want to keep it with linear. Um, blending mode is going to be normal. And you've got some cool options down here as well. You can scale that um, and you can see what's happening over there on the left as I scale it. So we've got a gradient applied to this. It still does not look like uh, solid gold, um, but we're going to apply some more layer styles to it and um, hopefully get there. So the next thing I want to do is apply a satin layer style. And um, that's starting to help this quite a bit. Um, I have experimented quite a bit with the contour to get different looks and again depending on the shape of what you're trying to apply these layer styles to it might require a different contour because uh, each gives a unique look um, that could work perfectly um, for whatever you're trying to accomplish. For this particular one I'm going to stick with this look blending mode is going to be an overlay mode 
and you can also adjust the size and the distance of this to get a different effect. And then also let's add a bevel and emboss. And there are a lot of settings in the bevel and emboss that we can explore um, and experiment with to try and get a better look. Um, you again have the size as well as the soften. You can choose inner bevel, outer bevel, emboss, pillow emboss. Um, we're going to stick with an inner bevel. Um, you can see though, if we choose an outer bevel, it's going to do a different look each time. So we'll stick with this inner bevel and uh, for the contour there again you can choose different contours for your inner bevel and each one's going to give a unique look it's really um, there's not one formula that's going to give you an exact look Now texture is interesting. Um, when you apply a texture to your bevel and emboss, it's going to give us a nice look of reflections. So when I turn that off and I turn that back on, you might notice in this area some things happening that look like reflections. And you can adjust the scale of those things as well as the depth and it's going to give you a different look each time you can also change out the texture and choose something else and that again will give you a different look each time so unfortunately there's just a lot of experimenting with layer styles um, there's not one exact formula that I could recommend to get the exact look that you want each time. And um, as I take a look at this, it's still awfully bright compared to the rest of my gold. So I'm going to apply a cover, a color overlay to it um, to try and tone it down some. So I've chosen a little bit of a darker gold. I've kept the mode at normal and adjusted the opacity to 50% and I think that has helped it uh, to blend in a little more. And now here's the, the really cool part about layer styles is you can actually save this so that you don't have to do these settings again. Once you've found something you like, uh, we'll come over here and we'll click new style and we'll call it Go Media Bling. And then when you click OK, you'll be able to apply it to other objects without having to go through all those steps. However, you may need to adjust those steps um, depending on the object you are applying it to. Okay, we are back in Adobe Photoshop now, and I've added a few more design elements, including this Go Media logo, and um, I applied the layer style that we created earlier to these elements, and I had to tweak uh, the individual uh, options to get a more successful looking uh, gold effect on the logo. Um, so don't get frustrated if you have to do the same as well, uh, depending on your object, because uh, it could vary depending on the size and the width and things like that. Um, so then now I've pasted the circles that we created in Illustrator, and I've pasted them into the background and applied a layer style to it. So let's take a look at that layer style. It's uh, a basic bevel and emboss. I've got an outer level 
uh, chosen and then you can adjust the size the softness of it and I chose to go with a 0 on the softness and a 5 on the size and that's about the only setting that I needed to adjust there and it kind of looks like we've got a large gigantic speaker in the background okay we're going to finish up our composition by adding some lighting effects using the airbrush tool and applying a layer style to uh, what we airbrush so let's create a new layer and then choose our airbrush I've got a fairly large airbrush chosen here and I'm going to leave the opacity at 100% and just click um, one time. And now let's add a layer style to it. We're going to put an outer glow on it. And I want to give this outer glow some color. So I'm going to choose a rich orange. Set this to linear dodge, add. I'm going to increase the opacity there. And then the layer is currently on normal so we'll actually set the layer to linear dodge add as well and that's looking uh, a lot better um, but uh, we want to keep improving on that so let's duplicate this layer and you can see some interesting effects with the layer modes happening and I want to bring this layer that we just duplicated towards the front and now it's creating some depth and uh, we're going to add one more layer style to our car in the middle um, that will allow it to look a little bit like there's light um, spilling over so we're going to use an inner glow on the car and adjust the size and change the blend mode to linear dodge add I'm going to bring the opacity down a little bit increase that and now we've got some light overspilling on that car in the middle alright now we're going to put the finishing touches on our bling effect um, and we're going to create a five point star that we will use to get our sparkle on um, back in Adobe Photoshop. So I'm going to copy that, I'm going to paste it in front, Apple F. And uh, do a little bit of a rotation to this. This is the shape we're going to use um, to get our sparkle on. Let's paste that into Photoshop as pixels. And then we're going to apply a layer style to this, outer glow. Set it to multiply. And change your yellow to a black. And then adjust the size. And click okay now if you control click on your outer glow you can actually create a layer out of this and so now that soft layer style has become a layer of its own and it's no longer a layer style you can select the two of these merge the layers and now we're going to create a new brush look at how we use a new brush to give ourselves this sparkle effect okay so now we've got our image selected and we're going to go to edit define brush preset and then give this a name go media sparkle and then let's turn this layer off before we go any further deselect that and let's create a new layer and then we're going to use a 
brush tool and select our new brush that we've just created. And we can adjust the size of that. That's probably way too huge. Let's bring that down. Okay. So now we can come in and choose some key areas and add our sparkle effect. And I'll probably change the size for variety. Okay, so these look um, decent, but not great, and they are missing a layer style, so let's apply another layer style to these. We'll do an outer glow, increase the size and the opacity to 100%, and let's give it some color like we did before. And let's change it from screen to linear dodge. So now these things are really starting to sparkle. And there we go. The bling effect. 